Hi everyone, happy new year. Um, welcome to my channel and I'm gonna say welcome because I think this is probably gonna be the first video that I will be uploading to this channel. Um, so you may or may not know that I have a channel with one of my best friends, Dion. Um, I am moving cities, so I'm gonna, we're gonna be a lot farther away from each other, farther, further. Um, which is sad, but we'll see. We'll still see each other every week anyway. So, um, so yeah, what we decided to do was to keep our joint channel, but uh, make the videos on there like once a week, um, and then have our own channels where we could upload as well. So you're actually going to get more content. Um, so good thing for you guys. So I thought I would do my first sort of channel on this video as a little weekly vlog. Um, it is currently the second of. January I was about to say July I don't know why um and yeah we've just got back to Leicester so we've been in Devon for two weeks it was so nice being in my own bed last night and not living out of a suitcase oh my god I've literally been living out of a suitcase for like three weeks I think so um it was so nice not to to unpack everything and be back to normal thought i'd bring you along this week i had to do some content shots this morning um i was supposed to be meeting dion this afternoon to do some shots but she's going to be back from durham later than expected so not doing that this afternoon um, i am currently tidying the house because we have three viewings um this afternoon which is exciting so i probably should sit down and talk about i'm gonna put this camera down because it's already hurting my arm there we go so set back so i'll probably talk about this more in maybe more of like a moving video or something but so i'm we me and jamie currently live in leicester and he, he got a new job in southampton um so he's already moved down there he's living with family friends in portsmouth and then he comes back at the weekends um and then the plan is obviously for us to move to winchester um it's both somewhere that we both want to move to and suits us down to a t so yeah really excited about that um so we own this house here in leicester so what we're gonna do is rent this one out and then rent in winchester initially just because apart from like last month that was like the first time i've ever lived, been there so i was like i don't really want to buy again until we've lived there for a little while so yeah we've got three viewings on this one this afternoon um so obviously yeah we'll let this one out and then we're trying to find somewhere in winchester i haven't found anywhere yet but i'm sure now that christmas is gone hopefully there'll be a lot more properties on there because yeah if by february which is when hopefully people will move in here we've not found anywhere i'll have to move down to devon until we find somewhere so that means like moving all of our stuff from this house down to devon and then from devon to winchester instead of just leicester to winchester but yeah we'll see hopefully we'll find somewhere so yeah expect to see some moving vlogs some moving halls or if you there's anything else home related that you want to see let me know um but yeah there's a lot of exciting stuff going on this year which i'm excited to share with you guys so yeah excited that's it really that's my little life update i thought actually i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna include in this vlog what i got for christmas and a few bits that i've bought um i think the majority of that is coming tomorrow or monday so i might show you that on monday when it's all arrived or maybe i'll show you what i got for christmas first and then yeah, I'll show you what I got for Christmas first. Not to like brag or anything, but for me, I love watching like what people get for Christmas. Just because like it gives you ideas of either what to gift people for birthdays or and things like that. So yeah, that's the reason why I like to watch them. So I'm hoping other people will feel the same way. Yeah, obviously not to brag at all because I'm grateful for every single present that I get. Um, so yeah, I'm just really procrastinating so I don't want to clean.
hello so it's a little bit later on in the day my head's chopped off right i'm just gonna have to lean back a bit i'm um resting you on about one two three four five six seven about seven boxes and books <laughs> to prop you up here but we'll just work with it kind of made a mess considering we have a viewing in about an hour so it's fine we'll go through so I was, like i said i just wanted to show you a few of the things i got for christmas just if it gives you any other inspiration or anything like that um because i love watching what people got for christmas so i thought i would show you guys a few of the things um so one of the things i got is this lovely watch yeah so it's silver and gold and it's in this like rectangle face um and i have quite a small wrist so i do like to um do, like to have something that's quite small i'll show you it on my wrist so this is from Larson and Jennings. Oh, let me show you on my like so. And I like it because I like wearing sort of like both gold and silver bracelets. So having the watch two tone uh, really works well. So yeah, really like that one. And this was from the We Wore What collection, and it comes in this cute little box as well. Which I really like. I always end up keeping like watch box and stuff. So love that one another thing i got slippers i do go through about a pair a year of slippers um i used to be an ugg gal i've now converted so these are from emu australia and i literally love them now i did think because they're like open toe and stuff like that but my feet would get a bit cold no these are perfect i literally love these one thing that i would say is size up so i'm usually between a five and a six and i got a six and originally when i went to put my foot in i was like oh my god i'm not gonna fit but the fluff does like obviously wear down so i would definitely size up if you're looking to get those i'm already thinking about getting another pair because i just don't want to be without i love them so easy to slip on and like because i think because they're all fur like i don't feel like they get too dirty like if i show you my up ones so these are my ones from last year and look they just look so filthy. So I'm hoping that these won't. I think they, they do these in like quite a lot of different colours. They're only like £50 I think as well, which is really good for a good quality slipper. Because I think you're looking at like 70, 80 quid for Uggs. Um, so I think I'm going to get the charcoal of these as well because I really love them and want to get more. So one of the other things. Oh, I put it way too far away. I can't actually reach it. I got this perfume. This is my favourite perfume. This is YSL Mon Paris. Paris, Paris, how you want to say it. Um, I love the smell of this. Mm. And I literally just ran out as well, so it was perfect at getting this. And it did come in a little set, actually. It came with a mascara and a lipstick. The lipstick was, like, bright pink. So I ended up giving that one to Jamie's mum. But, um, yeah, quite a cute little set, I thought. Another thing that I got, another little staple for my makeup bag, is this Estee Lauder Daywear. Um, so I wear this basically every day. It's like a blue colour. I'll show you. Oh. So if you can see, it's like a white, bluey colour. And as you rub it in, it gets darker and really look like a... And it's like proper glowy. Um, so yeah, I always put that on underneath my foundation or when I'm on holiday, I'll just use that on its own because it just adapts to your skin colour. Um, so this is another staple in my makeup bag that I ran out of. Um, so I got this one here. I then also got another lip liner. This is MAC in Strip Down. Um, really like this colour. I've got it on now. It's just like a brownie. I'll show you. like a brownie nudie colour uh, not too pinky which I really like um, I also needed socks and pants because I don't know about you but I did need some more so I got these ones from Calvin Klein I wanted some socks that I wear obviously trainer socks and I wear trainers and things like that so I wanted some socks to like wear around the house um, and be just really soft and cozy so I got this pack from Calvin Klein they've got the little CK here and they're in like a grey, a light blue and a navy and these are just really nice just to wear the joggers under my slippers as well um, and just to be cosy. I then also got these packs of underwear, these are the Calvin Klein ones 
I have the bralette to these, so I wanted the uh, thong to match. I've not actually worn these yet, so I'll show you these. Um, so yeah, I got those, and then also in a black, and then I also got a grey, but in like the brief style. I think they're in the wash because I have worn them. So I got those. And then some clothing bits that I got. I got this jumper from Zara, which I literally am obsessed with. It's so, I think this was literally at like £19, and it's so thick. Um, I got this in a medium just because it's supposed to be cropped, so I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, and it fits perfectly. Um, and it's like a nudie oatmeal colour. Literally love this. So yeah, £19. I think it did go into the sale, so I'll try and link it below, um, but it might have sold out. So I think it went into the sale for like £15 or something, so a really good price. And another thing was this skirt. I saw this skirt on Instagram. I can't remember whose account I saw it on, um, but I'll link them below. And I really liked it, and it's like a, it's really stretchy because I'm not. This is the thing. I don't really like. Sorry, my back's really hurting, so I'm just gonna lean back a bit. <laughs> um, I don't really like my thighs, so I don't usually ever wear anything. Like if I wear a dress, it'll be like a longer dress. Um, and sh well, shorts I don't mind them in, but it's just skirts. Like I find that when they're too tight on the tops of my thighs, it makes them look like a lot bigger than what they are. Um, so I saw this in Zara. Like I said, I did see it on someone on Instagram. Um, and then when I saw it in Zara, it's so stretchy and it's got the ruching at the front at the back. So it doesn't make your legs look too big at all. Um, and I thought I could wear this casually with like this top here, but in black um, and boots and a blazer. Um, also dress it up. So I've not actually worn this yet. I was going to wear it on New Year's depending on what plans we had. Um, but we ended up staying with some friends which is actually really nice. So I was just in my, my joggers. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to wear that. I'm hoping I get to wear it soon. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you was this hat from Palms Quilt. It's just a bit bad from the, the journey back so I need to reshape it. Um, but yeah, it's in this really nice stone colour. I love the detailing of the bone. Can't put it on my head because it's got things in, but you know the vibe. So yeah, I'm getting really back into fedoras again. I was into them and then I kind of went off them and now I'm back into them. So yeah, those are a few of the things. If it gives you any ideas, obviously beautiful birthdays or things like that. That is what I'm here for. Oh no, I can't get it back in this bag. Okay. Go. Um, oh, okay. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the door. Uh, Jamie's car door was like a little bit open, so someone drove past and was like, "Oh, your car door's open." A bit strange. The rest of his car was locked. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some work and some emails, and I shall. Oh, someone's pouring at the door. Hello, Mr. Ralph. I know, and I now need to put this away before the viewers come. Speak to you later. Hello, so we are currently, oh, wow, you look so unimpressed. <laughs> we're currently sat in the car because the people are viewing our house, so we're in the Tesco car park. Just took Ralph for a walk. I've just been into Tesco and got some bits. Ralph is on my lap, can't see him. So yeah, we've got one more to go because we can see on our um what's it called ring ring. ring ring doorbell when people go in so one more person to go in and then we can go home but yeah just waiting do you want some crisps they got in there if we wait i'm a bit hungry now i've got some crisps in tesco i think it'd be fine what be fine if we go back now mm. yeah but the last person has not gone in so it's just going to be awkward. Surprise. Surprise, at home. <laughs> we're just going to be sat in the car when they walk in, we're like. <laughs> <laughs> we're steaming. <laughs> hey, babies. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, you hiccups. Can't even see your eyes. He's getting a haircut tomorrow. Honey. I'm getting a haircut. We are finally in. 
back in the house, just had some dinner. I made the sweet chilli fried rice that I've made before on one of mine and Dion's videos. I think it was like what we eat in a week. <clears throat> so that's on there, so I'll leave that below if you want to go and cook that one. It's such a nice, easy, quick, tasty meal. We're now, well, I'm sat on the sofa. Jamie's got work to do. And we've got this Netflix series on. What was the Netflix? Messiah. What was it called? Messiah. Messiah. I can't see how what it's called. Oh, Messiah. Anyway, we're on the first episode, so I will let you know if it's worth watching. I'm also tucking in on these little brownie bites. I bought them for when I hosted at Christmas for Jamie's parents and yeah. Livy, and they didn't get eaten, so yeah. I'm eating them instead. That wasn't very politic. That's the truth. My God, you're like your father. Hello, hello, hello. What's the time? It's a lot later. It's 20 past eight. Watched a few of those, um, that series, I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, it was okay. It wasn't the best, um, but Jamie's watching football now, so I thought I would just come up and give myself a little bit of a face mask. My skin's been okay recently. It's just my chin here. Like, this is all scarring. So, yeah, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a face mask. I'm going to be using this Foreo mask here. Uh, this is not, like, sponsored or anything by them. I bought this myself. Um, but it's just basically, like, a luxury mask thing. Like, you put the mask on here. Well, I'll show you anyway. And you can put it around your face and it heats up. So, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of my skincare that I've been loving at the moment. Cleanser-wise... I've literally been loving this. I got it in a glossy box originally. Um, and then, yeah, I bought the whole tub. You can just get it in Tesco. I think it's like £8. But I find this really gentle. It's really creamy. It doesn't make my skin dry. It's not broken me out, which is a plus. So, yeah, I've been loving that. So, I've been using this. There we go. Um, so, I got this off Superdrug when my skin was quite bad, like here and here. Oh, it's not going to focus on me. There we go. Um, and you have to like, it's like pharmacy products. You have to like fill in a questionnaire and send products to your skin before they let you have it. Um, so I'm going to start, I've started using this again. And it's definitely dried up my chin. So I'm hoping these scars will clear up. Also got a new spot like right there, which is great. Um, and then I've also got, which I'm going to try, is this Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Serum. Should probably have taken my glasses off but I'm doing this, shouldn't I? Excuse me, please. Why? Have you done? Fuck No. What in the middle? What? I'm just washing... really red. <laughs> wow. I'm just washing my face. Right, I'm just gonna let my face settle because it always goes really red after I touch it with anything. So yeah, I'm gonna let that settle. Now I look like a balloon again. Oh, so it's got my device on there. So 
So I just got to press the button. There we go. And then it'll come to this screen here. Um, and this is basically where you click start. And then it always asks to scan like the barcode on the mask. So I'll scan that. There we go. Activated mask to your device by clipping the attachment okay. ring into place with the 4.0 logo facing up. And then it's like a little sheet mask, but in like this little circle. And then you pop that on. Click start. Use a circular motion as you gently glide in UFO the across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. This warming facial massage melts away any stress while deeply nourishing your skin. Just gonna pretend I'm in the spa. I usually um, let that like sink in, but oh my god, um, it feels quite sunken in already. So I'm not gonna put anything too harsh on my skin tonight. So I'm just literally thinking I'm just gonna slather an oil on and let that soak in. So I'm gonna use the midnight recovery. Use a few drops of that. Is my skincare done for this evening? There we are. So that's gonna be me for this evening, and I will catch up with you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Only just good morning though. It's like 10 to 12. It's a Friday, although it feels like a Sunday today. My days are all messed up after the Christmas break. Um this morning I have just edited up yesterday's part of the vlog. Um, I want to kind of keep on track of that. So I did that this morning. I've done some emails, done some work. Oh, I always have a really itchy lip as soon as I get on <laughs> camera. I don't know why. And my battery is flashing, so that's great. Um, but yeah, this morning, well, this afternoon it's going to be in a second. I am going to take all of the Christmas decorations down. So I'm going to do that now. I was going to do a little time lapse, but the battery is flashing, so I better charge that. So I'm going to do that now. And then Ralph's got his hair cut at half one, which he completely needs because he can't see out of his eyes. And then I think we're going to pop into town later and I've got a couple of deliveries today. So I'm going to go put this on charge and I will catch up with you a little bit later. Okay. I don't know how long you're going to stay there for, but I'm running late. Eskimo. Oh, belt. I was supposed to pick Ralph up in four minutes. So yeah, I asked her to go like, so usually they do like a poodle cut on him, so they do like a flappy body, and then they do, um, they keep his head more fluffier, if that makes sense. So his head's longer than his body, and his ears longer than his body. Um, so I've asked for like a full over teddy bear cup today. So his head and his ears and that will be shorter just because his ears get so matted and he kind of does look like a girl <laughs> after he has that done. So I'm hoping, yeah, and where he gets cut, the girl that he usually gets cut by is not, wasn't, wasn't there today. So it was a different one. Um, so this is the first time that this other lady, oh, she looked quite like a girl, um, has cut him. So, oh no. What's going on with your ears, buddy? So she's cut out his head shorter, but not his bloody ears. I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give that a chop because you look cute, but a bit silly. So shall we chop those ears when we get home? Okay, I'll give it a go. Hello, so we are just on our way into town. The sun is very bright, literally. Oh brilliant. Literally cannot see anything. It was a quick turnaround, drop Ralph off, straight in the car, go, go, go. Where do we need to go? 
post office. Reese. And TM Lewin. TM Lewin. We'll oh. probably just have a wander around. I don't know what to do for food tonight. And a coffee. Need to go to Starbucks for a gingerbread latte. Do they even do gingerbread lattes now? Yeah. I want one with the cream on top, the little gold sprinkles. You know, just holding on to that taste of Christmas. I don't even think they're going to do that now. Do they do it in January? Yeah. I think they might be disappointed. They do. Um, I don't even like the Starbucks in Leicester. I hate wherever it was positioned. Yeah, it is. I don't, yeah. It's outside, um, basically. Yeah, it's freezing. That's why I don't like it. And I go there, probably have a little meet around. I don't know what to do about food tonight because I was meant to do an Ocado shop last night and I forgot. Food out. So we might get food out. I do quite fancy an Ando's. Um, or we might get a takeaway later. We could get an Arno. Did we have Chinese last night? Mm, nope. I don't know. Yeah, so maybe takeaway or food out is on the cards because I keep getting hungry really early. I think because I've eaten so much over Christmas, my stomach is like stretched. <laughs> so we need to stop that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. He's being rude. So, yeah. I was good today, I had soup for lunch and only one piece of bread. Well done, you're still having five sugars in your cup of tea. I do not. Okay, I have two. Minimum. Okay, comment minimum down below tea. how many sugars you have in your tea because he has one and I have two. And every time he makes me a cup of tea, he doesn't put two in and I know he doesn't. It's bad for you. You can't keep having two sugars in your tea. <laughs> I can't and I you will. Can't. <laughs> so. Anyway, let's ignore him because I'm going to continue having two sugars in my tea. <laughs> um, I have tried to cut out when you've given me one sugar in my tea and I know that you have ah, for one I've tried occasion. to drink that's it. Not, that's not you trying to cut out, that's me <laughs> stopping you from having Yeah, and I've tried sugars. to drink it and it's actually really hard. It's horrible. So I'm going to have to. Why don't you opt to like green tea or something? Oh God, change, no. Different. I don't like a green tea or a peppermint tea. Peppermint... Chamomile. If I don't like green or peppermint, why am I going to like chamomile? Fruit infusions tea. No. I think peppermint tastes like, you know, um... Is it Wrigley's? Yeah. That, is it Wrigley that like chewing gum was in the long strips and you used to like chew it for about five seconds and it used to lose its taste? Mm. That's what peppermint tea tastes like. I would like to get into herbal tea, I just can't. Unless I let it go cold and down it, but then what's the point of that? Or start drinking coffee. Mm, I can't drink. No. Yeah, but surely I would have to have sugar in my coffee as well. Not if you have syrup, like but I have vanilla <gasps> latte. Doing. Yeah, true, but do you have the. I bet you don't have the reduced don't. sugar one, do you? No, I have vanilla syrup. <laughs> which... Going all on about sugar, and he's having vanilla syrup. You do know that you can get reduced sugar one? Well, we'll see. Well, when I, I think Starbucks. you should ask for that today. Maybe. Bloody hypocrite, bro. He's an actual, actual hippo. Okay. Anyway. We're nearly at the car park, so I'll keep you updated on all all things in town. So I'm scared. I'm not going to the car park, but we just walked out of the car park to then realise we forgot the parcels. So we're just walking back to the car. Brilliant. Great. Fabulous. So we are just leaving town. I made a huge rookie error of wearing this coat because I was so hot in any shop that we went in so I didn't sweating. literally sweating so I didn't want to look anywhere so we went to Starbucks but I was too hot to get a hot drink so I got a juice I had the new bean blonde bean oh, we we're gonna say the new caramel syrup I was like mm, that's the same no. what did you have blonde caramel latte with the new blonde bean and you could taste the blondness <laughs> In the in the bean. I don't even know what that means. But I you think it's for a smoother, a smoother coffee. Nah, I'm I don't no think you know. coffee connoisseur, but um, yeah, I don't think you know. You could taste the blonde. Um. So anyway, we picked up Jamie's bits, which he annoyingly wants me to open now. I don't understand why he just can't wait till we get home. Because I'm excited to see what I've got. <laughs> okay, I'll open them now. Um. But we haven't got food. I'm a bit hungry. But we're gonna go to the shop. Chicken fajitas. And get stuff for chicken fajitas tonight. Um, yeah, so town was rammed with kids. Forgot that they're off school. Like a playground. 
literally like a playground. So that was even more annoying. Okay. So. I'm enjoying the red light of the cars on my face. Mm. It's like I've got a tan. Mm, burn. <laughs> Unless you tan red. <laughs> so anyway, we're on our way home. I'm like, oh, the traffic's going to be really bad, isn't it? Half four on a Friday night. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Peace out, fuckers. <laughs> Stop swearing. <laughs> I jumped the red light, not eh? Anyway, I've got nothing else to say. Do you have anything else to say? Not at this moment. Any words of wisdom? What's your quote, quote Stay of? gold. Oh. Just stay gold. Is that your quote of the day? <laughs> Something is behind the clouds. We just have to believe it. But we can make the sun come out. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I've picked up recently online. Uh, the first thing is this bag from Topshop. Um, really love the detailing of this bag, like the weave. Um, it's in like a tan leather and I haven't got anything this colour, so I really like it. And it is, was £25, which you cannot go wrong for a new bag. And I feel like I'll get so much use out of this one. Um, it's got plenty of space inside. And then yeah, you can obviously wear it like crossbody and you can extend it or make it shorter and yeah or just on one shoulder like that and then the other thing that i picked up from Topshop was this belt um i got this in the smallest size just because i want to wear it with like knitwear sort of around the waist like so so i wanted it yeah to be short and then also wear it like around black blazers and things like that and i don't actually have like a thin belt like this um, this one was £10, so yeah, can't go wrong, and it does feel like really good quality as well. And I like the gold de detailing on the clasp there. And then another thing I picked up, um, it's from, my friend Liana had it on, on Instagram, so I'm just going to get up closer. And it's from Swarovski, and it's like this little choker necklace with the little diamond there and I really really love this I wanted to make that sort of this is on the shortest one so I probably could have a little bit longer just to rest there but yeah so there we go and I think this will look so nice like in the evenings with like dresses and things like that or you can also layer them up with other necklaces I was going to lay this one up with my Gucci necklace here but the uh the, like the silver is slightly different I don't know if you can see but yeah so it's slightly different so I'm not sure if it will how it will look but I will try to match them up but yeah this was 50 pounds I think it's really good just for like a little statement necklace um and yeah I really like that they did also do it in like a gold and a rose gold but I think the gold was sold out so like I said I wanted a pair of my Gucci necklace anyway so I got the silver but yeah I really love that
so I will link that one below as well and then homeware stuff we really needed some new towels um, and I was looking everywhere, I was looking on the white company and places like that in there so um, and I couldn't really find anything that I liked and then I went on this company called Dusk and picked up two sets, two different colours so they're like in a ribbed kind of material and they're so soft so I got this light grey, this charcoal colour um, so I got two bath sheets, two towels um, so yeah, two bath sheets in the charcoal, two towels in the light grey and then I got the matching bath mats and hand towels as well so this is the charcoal colour um, and for all of that because they're in the sale at the moment it was like £70 which I think is so good because I was looking at the white company which was like £25 a towel and I think these worked out to be like between 11 and 16 depending what size you got so yeah I thought that was really good and then the other thing that's just arrived is from Zara so I'm gonna have to open this up now hopefully I can do it without any so the items I picked from the Zara, yeah, see, what are you doing? His ears look a little bit better today. Can you show them your ears? Oh, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you still look a bit like a girl. What do you guys think? Do you think I should chop them or just leave them? He's so not impressed right now, are you? Mm. Um, so I picked up this black jumper. I literally feel like I'll live in this, it's such like a staple, so it's ribbed, um, slight balloon sleeve there with the cuffs, um, I got this in a size small I believe, size small and it was £25, so yeah, I've not obviously tried this on yet because I've just opened it, but I feel like I will live in this because I always wear like, wear, god I sounded so different to them, um, I always wear um, like turtlenecks, so I thought this was just like something different pair of black jeans and like Doc Martens and wear a coat over the top and I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of that. Another thing that I picked up is one of the trusty bodysuits but in this brown colour. Um, I got this in a medium, I do always get these bodysuits in a medium just because I have a longer body and I just feel like they sit nicer on me. Um, but the smalls are fine, I think I do have one in a small because they didn't have a medium. But they're that kind of material that just stretches anyway. Um, so you know, I've got this brown colour because I'm really liking this at the minute, it's like Yeezy vibes. And wear that with like black jeans and stuff. Cannot go wrong. And then the last thing I picked up, oh that's a really nice colour actually, was this beanie. If you can see it's like a sand like oatmeal colour. This was also £12.99, same price as the bodysuit. Um, I have another cream one. Actually it might be in here. Look. Yeah this one but it's like proper thick rib and it's not actually that big so like yeah i like it but not it's not like my favorite um so yeah i wanted a new beanie to wear and i really like this color but this one looks quite big so it's one of those things like i'm probably gonna have to try it on when i've got no makeup on just in case i don't like it but i think i will but it just looks quite big so yeah those were all of the things that i picked up recently like i said i've got one more thing coming from weekday so when i go and collect that I will show you. Um, have I even said hello to you today? I don't think I have. Very sorry about that. So yeah, it is Saturday. Um, it's currently, what is the time? Half past one. Uh, Jamie is still doing some work. He's got, he does a part-time master's, so he's got an essay in tomorrow. So I think he's gonna do some work till four and then I've booked uh, for us to go to the cinema. Um, at quarter past five to see the gentleman. I've seen a f quite a few people talk about it online, so yeah, we're gonna go see that, and then I'm gonna get a Chinese takeaway later. Um, and I also need to take this one out for a W A L K, so I'm gonna do that next, I think. Um, so yeah, it's been a few, quite a few relaxing days really, just because Jamie's had all this work to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be finished tonight, and then we can go and do something nice tomorrow um, before he drives back down to Southampton about four o'clock tomorrow. So it'd be nice to get out for like a nice little walk. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you a bit later. I'm gonna have some lunch actually, God. I wonder why I was getting hungry. I'm gonna cook some lunch. I've been obsessed with the chicken soup from Covent Garden, so I think I'm gonna have some of that. I'm not gonna get changed yet because this is what I was just wearing this morning, so I'm going to take the dog out in this, and then I shall get changed when we get back. 
Anyway, we have just come out for a walk. Jamie's finished his work. <laughs> have a little walk before we go to the cinema. So I'm ready for the cinema. I've just got my Doc Martens on, ASOS jeans, the Zara jumper that I just showed you in my little mini haul. And then also this Boda Skins bag. But I can't decide whether to take a jacket or not. Oh yeah, I've also got my Larson and Jennings watch on as well. I'm at the bananas. What did you think of the film? It was the best film in the world. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed it. I think it's one of his favourites. Like, so clever. Well, How don't, easy. Don't, don't ruin it or give any spoilers for anyone else for crying out loud. But yeah, it was a really good film. I was a little bit sceptical, I'm not going to lie. Like when I watched the trailer, I was like, do you really want to watch this? But no, it, it was right really good. It's right up my street in on your blog. Why do you keep calling it a blog as well? What was it called then? It's not called a blog. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's it called then? A vlog. <laughs> it's the same. Swap the B for the V. What's the please? difference? A blog is online. What's a blog? A blog is a video. A blog uh, is a written And the takeaway. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it. Picked up a Chinese in the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Joker over here. Um, anyway, if you live in Leicester, oh God, here we go. Let's just leave it. He's just going to be crying at his own joke for about half an hour now. Um, I'm He's sorry. literally crying. Okay, Yumchi in Leicester. It's in Bronston Gate. If you're from Leicester, I only found out a bit about it like my last few months of uni, and I was very upset because it's literally the best Chinese ever. So cheap, but so good. Would you say best Chinese in Leicester? Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Very, very good. You just need good. to make sure that you drink a lot of water. Oh yeah, it's after, a bit salty after. Bit salty, but at the time, but at the time, it's you can not taste the tremendous. Um, so yeah, we're just driving back now. And I will show you when it's on the plate. Mm -mm. When I say you don't need a large to yourself, this is the amount of food that you get in just one large meal box. <laughs> so yeah, get a regular if you want one for yourself, large to share. Now I'm going to tack into this. What's on the telly? Um, what is this? I don't. Massive unmasked singer or something. Oh, nice. mm. So we're gonna watch some telly and have a chill. 